I am so glad to see you. The whole vibe you've got going on lately, it's great, love it, love it so much. In fact, I've got a little proposal for you. With that buildup, I'm more scared than excited, but go ahead. What's your idea, Sammy? Last night, I was reflecting on my many successes and how I can multiply those successes into a cavalcade of success when it hit me, like an absolute explosion of brilliance in my brain. You and I should hook up. Wow, hard pass. And I think you might have the worst game I've ever seen. No, 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 no. Not like hook up, hook up. I mean, we can let the rubes think what they want, but I'm saying, how great would it be to have an extra ally on the roster? And that ally would be you? Exactly. Look, you've got a match coming up, right? Yeah. Maybe I could be out there for support, just to put a little toe in the water, a little Sammy baby toe in there, just to check the temp. I guess it couldn't hurt, but I want to be clear this is purely platonic. I don't want to hear any more descriptions of your feet. Great! See you there. I have got a really good feeling about this. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Sami Zayn from Los Angeles, California, one half of the women's tag team champions, Amanda Marie Davis. Few superstars come in the WWE with higher expectations than this woman. Nepotism can open the door, but now it's up to her to see what she can do with it. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. Here comes Trouble, a superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. And representing Damage Control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai! A world-traveled competitor has taken her game to the next level since joining Damage Control. Well, some would say Kai's got a questionable attitude, but besides that, she's proven she will do anything to win. Well, and now she has even more help in the form of damage control. I know there's action going on in the ring, but all I want to know is what is Sami Zayn doing at ringside? If everyone's this confused, it's working, whatever the reason. Choke slam backbreaker. A ah, jumping stop to the gut. Strong oh, kick. My goodness. The confidence, the poise, the undoubtable spirit of Dakota Kai is beaming here. Rolling elbow. Woo-wee. <laughs> oh, look at this. Show it off with a big flex. And then a running knee lift. Drop kick. Great athleticism. Oh, vicious knee to the face. Dakota seems unable to turn the momentum here. Kai's having trouble getting her bearings. Looking bad for her here. She can withstand the punishment, though. Trapped. Just unloading knees to the body. 
Ooh. Yeah. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Kick to the back. A constant assault from her here. Yeah, she hasn't been giving her opponent any reprieve. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous from the top. Kick connects from the top. This match is wearing her down. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Top rope, putting it all on the line. Look out. What? Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. And now Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Full court press being applied to Kai. Stinging kick. Kai sidestepped out of the way. Setting foot in the ring now.
Have you seen the web? The buzz is a buzzin'. People are debating, hating, speculating. This, this is good. This is really good. It does seem like everyone's talking, and they're assuming things. We need to let them know we're not an item and are just working together in the ring. What? No. Let people keep guessing. That's how you build interest. People get invested in a relationship. Will they? Won't they? We won't, Sammy. But the WWE Universe doesn't know that. Point is, we could be the next power couple. We could get our own show like The Miz and Maurice. They're actually married. Are they? Or is that just what they want you to think? We'll never know. I'm just saying maybe we can post something a little cryptic. Maybe just a photo of us together. Then sit back and let the gossip jackals feed. Fine, but only so you shut up about this. And maybe because I do appreciate the attention. Keep it vague, and don't expect me to comment with a bunch of heart emojis or something. Friends and allies can use heart emojis too, but fine, we'll keep it mysterious. A rare sight these days to see this superstar by herself. Yeah, I thought she and Sami Zayn were glued at the hip. Look out! Looks like Liv Morgan has caught her alone and is taking advantage. Good thing we got the big screens out in the arena so that the WWE Universe can see this brawl for themselves. Oh, listen, the last thing these two are thinking about is an audience. If hate is too strong of a word, then these two dislike each other extremely intensely, in case you couldn't tell. Somebody's got to do something before somebody gets seriously injured back there. Running knee lift. Bam! Just mounted with punches and not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Ooh. <laughs> Caving in the abdomen. And Morgan saves herself. Oh. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Oh, and a stomp right to the back. Oh, ouch. Great defense by Morgan. Drop kick. Ooh, she avoids the attack completely. <laughs> Rolling elbow. Woo-wee. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Kick to the back. Ooh. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. Well-placed kick. Oh! Carefully measured knee drop. Liv is really out of it. She might be done soon. Up into the torture rack. Ouch! No official needed here, as it looks like they've settled it themselves. Yeah, I just hope no one was seriously hurt.
was great, huh? You've got some nerve coming up to me after ambushing me like that. What were you thinking? Just trying to convince you to leave my fake boyfriend alone. Duh. But Sammy is my fake boyfriend. Wait, what am I saying? I figured out what you and Sammy are trying to do and I want in. You're getting so much attention. So I decided that your fake relationship made me fake jealous. And you real attacked me? Sammy said you'd be chill with it. Of course he did. You know he's married, right? Of course. I don't want a real relationship any more than you do. Ew. You have some serious explaining to do. Sorry, sorry. I meant to give you the heads up. Unfortunately, Liv found you before I could. But wasn't it neat? Two women fighting over me, Sami Zayn? I'm over this fake relationship, Sammy. We're fake done. No, don't leave me. Especially not when I've just set up a no DQ match between you and Liv for my affection. You want Liv and me to fight for you in the ring? Of course I do! What do you think, I'm above flipping antiquated gender norms in a silly but totally good for my personal publicity sort of way? I don't think you're above anything, Sammy. Right? Personally, I wanted to be on a pole for the match, but that's where management drew the line. You'll just have to settle for me being in your corner when you fight Liv. For me. Me. Sammy Zayn. I'll do the match, but if I win, I'm dumping you, Sammy. All's fair in love in WWE, but don't expect Liv to play nice. She's almost as into the attention as I am. I guess watch me is more than just a catchphrase for her. This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, accompanied by Sami Zayn from Los Angeles, California, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Amanda Marie Davis. For a young second-generation superstar like this, each match isn't just a battle against her opponent, it's a battle to create her own legacy. She's got all the tools, Corey. Now we get to see what she does with them. Well, one of the most popular competitors in the women's and division. From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv We used to wonder if Liv Morgan could ever reach her potential. Well, she has done that and more. Yeah, who will ever forget when Liv Morgan won the Money in the Bank contract and managed to successfully cash it in on Ronda Rousey to win the SmackDown Women's Championship. There truly is a lot to unpack in this one. We've got the continued presence of Sami Zayn acting as, I guess, a manager. Coming off the backstage attack by Liv Morgan with rumors swirling behind her motivation. Liv's motivation is love, my own. And love makes you do crazy things. I just can't understand why any woman would be fighting over a man who looks like old chewing gum you find under the couch. But nonetheless, 
Here we are. Heading back to the ring. Morgan on the receiving end. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Running clothesline. Effective. She's beginning to flag a little. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Oh, my God! Oh! Boom! Just one right after the other can't be stopped. Being put into a perilous position here after each of these vicious attacks. Oh, look at her answering back. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Morgan with an opportunity here. Oh, my goodness, what an impactful STO. With no countouts, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. Bringing a steel chair into play here. Out of the way in time. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. And that was a precisely measured attack. Starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Lift off. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Oh, close line. Boom. And Liv got completely caught by that maneuver. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Face first into the chair. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Running knee left. Boom. Climbing up to the top now. Up high. Wow. 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 What a drop kick. Liv is reeling in real danger now. into the torture rack. Oh, feast your eyes. Morgan is completely out of it. Cover! One, two, and this one is over. Here is your winner, Amanda Marie Davis. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Well, if there's one thing people say about me, it's that I am a man of my word. Consider our fake romantic liaison over. Good. And for the record, I dumped you. I mean, for now. People are really invested in us, and so in a few months when we reconcile, people are going to be eating it up. Right. Whatever, Sammy. See you around. <laughs>